let, let me give you an example of utilization in action. Um, I was about to present a day-long seminar to around 200 people in Bristol in England. And I knew the head technician had a great need for status. He needed to be seen as top dog. I'd also noticed something else about this guy. If you ever asked him to do something, he would have to go through a long ritual of at first telling you how it couldn't possibly be done, then telling you that it might be possible, but only he could do it. And when he made sure you really appreciated that only he could do it, that he was the man, would it finally get done? This was a, a something I'd noticed. All this took time. Now, on this particular morning, I needed the lecture to be audio recorded because I wanted someone who wasn't going to be there to be able to listen to it later. And realizing that the head technical guy was the one who would need to sort out the recording, I worried that if I just asked him, he'd take ages telling me why this was an unreasonable request and saying it was not possible and finally doing it. And all that would take more time than I had. So I decided to utilize his need for status. I didn't speak to him directly, but when I knew this guy was within earshot, I said loudly to my colleague, you know, it's a shame that they can't audio record my lecture. They just can't do it here. They haven't got the technology, and if they could do it, then it would take too long to set up anyway. Now, of course, head technical guy heard all this, and who was I to say he couldn't set up audio recording? That it was not possible, that it would take too long, even if it was possible. And within five minutes, we were all set up for recording. So I'd utilized both his need for status and his need to be in the right. Uh, so that's a non-hypnotic example of everyday utilization in which we both got what we needed and he got to do his job properly. So how can we do this hypnotically? Well, we can use whatever the client already has as part of their familiar experience to build an hypnotic induction for them. Uh, in this way, it feels familiar to them when they begin to go into hypnosis.